on behalf of Misfits Boxing, The Zone Boxing, The Wade Concept, all three in one. And I came here to bring you an interview with one half of our main event on August 27th. It's Alex Wasabi. Alex. Yes, sir. How you doing, man? I'm good. You doing well? How you been? It's good to see you. It's good to see you, brother. <laughs> Let's start here because I haven't spoken to you since our podcast after oh, yeah. Creator, Creator Clash. Clash. Yeah. But I want to talk to you about how we got not only here in Brickhouse Boxing, new gym for you, but yeah. how we got to this fight. Let's go back to the Deji fight. You win in London. Yeah. yeah. You're in that crazy, crazy crowd. But That's you pull crazy. out a victory. Yeah. So then, we get the call out from the big older brother. Mm -hmm. Big Deji, big as you Deji, referred to big him Deji. As. Talk to me about this fight, man. You, KSI, August 27th, just your thoughts going into this thing. Uh, I'm excited. Um, I feel like, I don't know why in the YouTube boxing world, people always want to pick people that they can easily beat. Like, mm. Oh, this will be easy, this will be easy. Why would you, why? Like, don't you want to have a challenge? Why would you do all this training for something that's going to be easy? Right. So that's why I called out what most people say is the biggest and baddest in YouTube boxing. Now you say that <laughs> with a little bit of contempt. Do you think when you're saying these things like, oh, you're calling out easy fight, do yeah. you think the other side of that, the guy that is the big bad man of YouTube, do you think that's on their mind? They're wanting an easy fight. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. A, he, that's the same thing. Uh, that's why I call him Big Deji. He's doing the exact same thing as regular size Deji. Like, he is making me go to London. He's uh, making me go up and wait. I was 162, went up to 171 for Deji. Now I have to go up to 180. And you looking big though, bro. Show him the guns. You looking a little. I'm working big. on it. It's, it's not easy, man. And then uh, what else? And then uh, oh, they're both just looking for an easy fight. Yeah. Regular size Deji. He just lost his two fights, and then he needed an easy fight. Uh, Big Deji hasn't fought in three years, so he needs an easy fight. Right. And I, I just, I just don't, I don't share that uh, view. Like I don't want easy fights. I wanna, I wanna go all in, right. and I wanna fight. So I'm just glad I, I was able to, to get this thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now listen, this is, I mean, this is a situation where you know a lot of people are gonna say you really have nothing to lose. But I wanted to talk about what you, what you just said. Mm the contempt around what you say people are, are saying is the baddest man in YouTube boxing. People are saying he's, this should be a cakewalk for him. This is an easy fight. But you said that with some contempt. What are your thoughts on KSI's actual skill level, his ability? Is it more a lot of people boasting him up or do you think that's what I he is? I just think he has a really big fan base and they think a lot of him and that's not a bad thing. They're just, no. they're just super loyal fans. and. Um, <laughs> I just like, we've been studying his footage a lot and like, if you look at the first Logan fight mm -hmm. and the second uh, fight against Logan, there's not much difference, but there's a year in between that, yeah. right? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. yeah, there's a year in between that. So I just don't think he's gonna improve that much. I think, I'm pretty sure everybody will agree with me that he's gonna come out and try to end it in the first round, but he put that safety net out there and be like, oh, I wanna play with him for a few rounds just in case. He can't get me out of there in the first round. He wants to be like, oh, see, I did that on purpose. Mm -hmm. But everybody knows he's going to come out swinging. He's a hope and throw fighter. Like, he's just, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> he's not even looking sometimes. He just, like, the so that's what the he's going to go for. Fighter, yeah, huh? that, that's what he does, and that's what everybody's going to expect. I, I could see him trying to be uh, technical in the first round, mm -hmm. but then he's going to realize that he can't outbox me, so he's going to have to resort to his uh, his go-to moves like go to yeah his go-to's yeah now I want to talk to you about like I said where we're at right now yeah you changed camps and I think there's a misconception that you just changed camps mm -hmm. like recently oh that uh, what people think? yeah I think that's that's a little uh. bit of the sentiment online kind of mm -hmm. the whole oh Deji changed and he's with daily and how's that gonna but you've been here with Brickhouse Boxing here yeah. in North Hollywood yeah. obviously Brian Valoria I want you to talk to me about what this team has meant to your evolution your coach the sparring partners you mm -hmm. have, what does it meant to be with this team now? And I guess there's the seriousness that you guys are putting into this game. I, I'm doing so much more. Yeah. Like I didn't, the last camp was my first time ever training for anything ever, my first camp ever. So right. uh, my coach was always telling me I, I was doing enough. And yeah. I was like, I feel like I can do more. And he's like. And you even said that in some of the yeah. build up, like I can do more, I can, I do, can more. do more. I can do more, yeah. yeah. And so I was like, man, I can do more. And then, uh, 
he was an old school boxer. I love Ramon, by the way. Yeah. Like, uh, Ramon, Ramon's the man. The yeah. only reason that we're we're not working together for this camp is because scheduling differences. Right. Um, he he has a, another job, and yeah. so I would only see him at night, and then I wouldn't be able to do much work in the daytime because I didn't want to be too tired for the boxing training. Right. So it just like, um, I just wanted to switch it up, and then uh, it's just so nice being here with my strength coaches in that room, yeah. my head coaches in this room. I have so many sparring partners. I have so much experience to pull from. Uh, every time I spar, I get like, I'll spar for like however long, like six rounds, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then I'll have an hour of feedback. I'll go to yeah. each person and they'll come up and like, they'll get in a line and be like, yo man, look, you did this great. Oh, remember I told you last week and then you did this, you changed it up, you're, you're, that's good. Hey, you're the bigger guy, you gotta do this. Mm -hmm. And it's just, I'm just getting years of experience just like, wisdom just bestowed upon me all the time just yeah. being here and like even i'll be training in here for like an hour or two hours three hours and then i'll just sit here and watch them spar yeah. for like another hour it's a mental rest and just yeah. yeah and it's great and then i'll just like just eat and just watch and just absorb as much as i can and that's all yeah. i want to do and i just want to be those a student that don't know brian valoria four-time world champion four -time former world. olympian filipino filipino the connection nice. there yeah. <laughs> but no this gym I, I think it has just you know being in the environment for what I've been in the last you know, 30 minutes or so, you can tell this is a very tight knit group mm -hmm. and they're preparing you like you're going in to fight a pro. Like this isn't a oh, yeah. YouTube boxing match, right? This is something that we're, we're in a pro scene now. Mm -hmm. We're going across once again to London. Yep. Do you feel any pressure? Because I think the other side, I think KSI, they want to mount that pressure on you mm -hmm. to come back to their hometown once again and put you in a position where maybe you wouldn't be as successful as you would be here. Are you feeling any of that, or is it this team, your preparation, you just feel solid, ready to go? I mean, it's just like the last camp I did. Um, every interview I did, they're like, oh, the whole world's against you. Nobody thinks you're gonna be Deji. Nobody, you're going to a hostile environment. Like, the whole stadium's gonna be against you. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, but like, I'm training. I do everything I can. I do everything my coach says. He says one more round, I do one more round. Yeah. My strength coach says, we're gonna do another set, we're gonna do another set. Yeah. Like, I'm doing everything I could possibly do. Yeah. It's like uh, it's like my view on uh, death. Like, I'm not scared of death. And people are like, but why? And I'm like, because I know in my mind and in my heart that if I was gonna die, I'm gonna do everything possible not to die. Right. So, like, I already know that, so why be scared of death? Right. Like if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. I have no control over it. I'm gonna try not to, but if it does, that's the same way with the, with life. Like I just do everything I possibly can and then that's all I can do. Yeah, yeah. control what you can control basically, yeah. yeah. Now on that same note, you know, you said it, the world is against you or at least mm -hmm. that seems to be the case. You're going to London, KSI is already starting some of the mind games. Yeah. Now, apparently he was in LA a couple, I think it was last week at this point, yeah. and the mind game started. They wanted to meet up. They wanted yeah. to, to do some things there. What, what happened when KSI was in LA? Is there any contact there? Or I uh, woke up this morning with a bunch of texts from people, and they're like, yo, did you see, did you see? And I was like, see what? And then I saw that he was in LA, and then I was like, bro, I have two training sessions today. <laughs> right. I got recovery i got this that i'm not gonna drop everything on the day that yeah. you're here to come meet up with you just so you can call me a pussy for 30 minutes <laughs> on your camera like yeah. why would i do that i'm serious about training right. you can come to la as much as you want i'm not going anywhere i'm yeah. training oh. i'm in camp understandable so. no I, I mean that was a part of the mind games yeah. but we see those continuing on do you think this is something that is a part of his strategy to try oh, to get yeah. into your head the same uh, yeah i mean i my honest opinion on mind games is the people that use them need them. Mm. I don't need them. I'm training. I don't need to try to get in your head or try to convince you that you're not training as hard as me. I'm training as hard as possible. Yeah. So I'm not worried about my opponent. Yeah. He can do whatever he wants. He can stalk me. He can comment <laughs> on all my pictures. Like He comments on all my pictures. Yeah, he's, he's, on everything. He's if I posted, on a lot, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, and it's crazy because I posted a TikTok like a, with a cologne ad, and uh, you had a cologne ad. I did. I had a oh. cologne ad. Check it out. It's on yeah, TikTok. Hey, check it out. So I, 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 uh, I did it's like not a sponsor. It's called wasabi. It's wasabi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did a sponsor thing, and then he posted every time he comments, it makes me laugh. He said the only thing you're going to be smelling is blood or something like that on fight night oh, or something like that. And every time he comments or says something or tweets me, all I picture in my head is like. I'm having an argument with like Plankton or like Dr. Doofenshmirtz. 
And he's like, oh, you'll ruin the day. Or he's like, yeah, he does. I'm a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he has that, that Dragon Ball Z, yeah. you know. And that's just, so it just makes me laugh that uh, when his mind games, I just, they just don't affect me. I don't know why he thinks they would, because I just got booed by 13,000 people. Yeah. And fighting in a completely different country. Yeah. Getting egged, getting, yeah. Yeah. getting called names by little kids in the street. Yeah. And like, even adults, like, yeah. and as long as I train, what, what? I'm good. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> now, I, I want to ask about this, and I, I don't even know if this is something set in stone yet, but yeah. speaking of, you know, the egging and part of that, that raucous crowd, I have heard you are, you know, at least being advised by MVP, Most Valuable Promotions, mm -hmm. Jake's team. Yeah. Is he supposed to be, I just want to clear this up because a lot of people are talking. Yeah. Is he supposed to be in your corner that night? <laughs> is he supposed to be at the fights? Is there something there? <laughs> like, what? How did this come out? You know, it's been online now. Yeah. It's rumored. People, he's in his corner. I gotta be honest with you, that's not a great idea, right? Why, so tell, why, tell would, the people, I, yeah. why would I have Jake in my corner? Yeah, I, I like, didn't understand that. I completely respect Jake, but we like we're on two separate paths. I, I do get advised by his team because yeah. he's had a great journey. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, his team must be doing a great job. So Absolutely. they reached out to me and I was like, yeah, let's let's work together. That's great. But no, he's not gonna be in my corner, he's gonna be taking up spots of, of people I need. Right, yeah. I'm like I respect everything he's done. He's done stuff for boxing that no other YouTuber is ever gonna do. Yeah. Uh, for women's boxing, for kids, like the bullying stuff, yeah. uh, the foundations and everything. But um, he's a grown man on his journey and I'm doing my own thing. Fair. So, yeah. uh, just wanted to clear that up. Yeah, just, that just clear that up. didn't make a lot of sense <laughs> yeah. when I heard it. But. Like I'm rooting for him, he's rooting for me. And that's yeah. pretty much it. Yeah. There you go. Um, so let's, let's transition to the actual fight, yeah. right? Because we can talk all day about the, mm -hmm. the antics and the lead up and the, and the name calling and everything else, but I don't know if you've seen this, but KSI did come out uh, last week and basically told everyone he broke his nose. And <laughs> Was that last sparring. week? I, I think it, it's been a week now, maybe less. Oh, dang. So did you see that and... It was inspiring? I, I don't know. It, I just it, saw we, pictures, I didn't really We don't know like... if it's inspiring, we don't know if it's doing yeah. a Sidemen video, we don't really no. know, right? So what do you think of KSI saying, I broke my nose. It looks, I mean, it looks yeah. pretty crooked. Um, yeah. Obviously something that's gonna impact the fight. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's something that he probably should have postponed this a little bit? Or what I mean, think? if he doesn't wanna, I mean, if he wanted to postpone the fight a couple weeks, I would understand. Yeah. If I broke my nose, I'd be like, yo, can we push it back just a little bit? I still wanna fight, but yeah. like, broke my nose. But he doesn't wanna do, I don't, I'm down to fight whenever. Yeah. If he wants to fight with a broken nose, <laughs> then You're gonna be, so be it. I'm down. Like, right. If that's what you want. Well, the reason I ask is because it seems like if there was any apprehension from him, yeah. again, this goes back to what I think he thinks about you as a fighter. Mm -hmm. If he thought that there was any real danger there, mm -hmm. then he probably would have postponed it. My, I guess my question is that and I guess everything else that he's put out, mm -hmm. do you think that, it, again, he's just taking you so lightly that it doesn't matter to him that he broke his nose? Uh, I, I, get, I think that, yeah. yeah. If he was fighting Jake Paul and he broke his nose, it would be pushed back. But I don't know. I mean, it's his mistake to make. Uh, I don't know. I mean, Deji underestimated me too. He didn't put the work in. I think KSI is definitely going to put the work in. Right. Like, I, I think he's going to be the toughest fight I've ever had. Well, I only had two fights, but, but still, like, the yeah. toughest I, I, I'm ever going to have. Probably. Well, let's talk about that. You've seen, you know, obviously you're working hard here at Brick House. You've seen some of the pictures come out of him. And, mm -hmm. you know, obviously there's a weight difference between you two. Yeah. Um, he's coming down in weight, you're going up. Yeah. What, when you get these little glimpses of him, what do you think of his progression or I guess regression in weight yeah. coming down? Uh, obviously you're treating this like, like you said, the fight of your life. How do you see yeah. from those pictures, from everything he's posting, how do you see this fight going, man? Are you, are you looking for a, a, a full, war to the end from him do you think he's going to like you said come out first round try to get you out of there and when it doesn't mm -hmm. happen all of a sudden the fight changes how do you see the way he's preparing for you how he approaches this fight what do you see out of them what are they going to be doing um i think especially with the broken nose uh he's his he's going to come out swinging yeah. he's going to come out first round trying to get me out of there but that was the game plan anyways but yeah. now with the broken nose it's probably even more he's like oh i cannot get touched on this nose so uh, but his transformation, that's, ex he's doing exactly what I wanted. He, it's exactly what I wanted from Deji. And Deji gave me that too. Yeah. Deji was in the best shape of his life. Yeah. Um, I think I'm excited to see what uh, Deji and Daly are going to do. Like, what yeah. are they going to look like now? Yeah. You know, let's, let's actually, let's, let's talk about that a yeah. little bit because 
we'll get back to your fight in a second, but let's talk yeah. about the card, man. You are main eventing Again. on a pretty stacked card, and, and we have Blue Face, we have Temper. Same co main event. Your co main, yeah. What do you See, think about Big that? See, Big Deji, man, he's, he even brought the same co main event. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the same co. Yeah. Um, you, you look at that fight, and you've trained with Tommy. Yeah. What do you, how do you see that fight going? Um, with Blueface and Tommy? Yeah. Oh, I think Tommy got it. I think, uh, I think Blueface will surprise people, but, like, he's about to fight a month before, so yeah. Tommy's going to have a clear view of his skill level. Yeah. And he's going to be able to see what his tendency are from a month away. Yeah. Like, with me and KSI, like, he could look completely different. I guarantee I'm going to look completely different. I was fighting a Southpaw, mm -hmm. and, like, I didn't know how to chase somebody. Like, mm -hmm. I get no credit. Obviously, yeah, there's from a lot anything. Of, yeah, there's even a lot if, of, even when I beat KSI, I'm not gonna get credit for that. There's gonna be something like, oh, he broke his nose. Oh, he was sick. Oh, he he had to lose too much weight. There's gonna be something where I don't get credit. Yeah. But uh, you with, Tommy's got that one. Yeah, I think Tommy's got it. Yeah, it's just it's just too easy. Yeah. Um, it's just too much information. To to yeah. Deji, Fuzzy. <sighs> That's a hard one, man. <laughs> I'm being Deji, like I. Uh, we shared the ring. You make a yeah. bond after that. Yeah, yeah. And I'm interested to see what Daly's been working on because I feel like Daly doesn't make, let you slack. No. Like the yeah. other coaches, he might have been able to get away from it. Be like, oh, I can't. Oh, I'm sick. Oh, I, I can't show up. But I don't think Daly's going to let him do that. Um, otherwise, I feel like Daly would drop him if he did that. Yeah. Um, he's just that kind of coach. He's so. a serious, yeah, serious pro But Fuzzy's coach. taking it serious too. Fuzzy's looking nice. He's in shape. And like, and his last camp, like, I feel like his team, they, they only had, like, I think less than two months to train him. Yeah. So they were kind of just pushing him. They're like, yo, spar, spar, spar. And he's in a great gym, too. Jackrabbit Boxing yeah. in Long Beach, great gym. Oh, yeah. So. And they're not, they have a lot of time. Yeah. And I, I, uh, I think Fuzzy's going to get it. But I think Deji's going to, once again, be in the best shape of his life, better than he was against me. I think he's going to perform better than he ever performed. But I got to go with my... My best friend, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Yusuf. Last gonna... one, last one on the on the undercard, and we'll get back to your fight. This is my boy, my brother. Yeah, Face Sensei. Yeah, King Kenny. Yeah. What do you think of that one? What's their weight at? What are they fighting? At? I don't actually know. I know Sensei's having to come down. Yeah. Um, but I don't, I don't actually know the what weight. What does Sensei normally walk around at? Oh gosh. Um, like... I think he's had to lose a significant amount. Oh really? Yeah. Because he's, you know, he's a bigger guy. When can he fight at? One seventy-five. Seventy-five, I think. And I oh, think yeah. Sensei will be. I mean, it has to be close, right? Has to be like 180. 180, 175, yeah. something like that. So Dang. he's coming down. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of people, not to put my input on it, but yeah. I think a lot of people are, are overlooking Kenny's skill. Yeah. Um, but also, Face Sensei is that guy to I, a degree. I mean, so it's tough. Yeah, I think Sensei, like, I'd, like, Tommy is a great fighter, and I don't want to fight either of them. But if I had to pick between Sensei and Tommy, I would want to fight Tommy. Yeah. It's a big challenge, so, and that's why yeah. I think a lot of people respect Daly and, and Kenny for, yeah. you know, like you said a second ago, a lot mm -hmm. of people want easy fights, and you're not taking an easy one, and neither mm -hmm. is Kenny. And, and I think that needs to be more of what we see in this YouTube boxing to yeah. pro boxing yeah. scene for us to get that next level to a main event with the zone boxing, mm -hmm. right? And well, Kenny's going to get the credit. Yeah. I'm fighting KSI, and I get no credit. <laughs> oh, trust. If, and I know it, it, it's tough because you're in a position where KSI has a lot of fans. Yeah. And you go over there and win that fight, though. I don't know oh, how yeah. you're denied the, the credit. The They'll be a way. They'll figure it out. <laughs> They'll <laughs> they find a way. Well, let's, let's do this. Before I let you go, yeah. um, I want to get your prediction. Yeah. For this fight. Mm. So let's set the scene. You're walking into the O2. Yeah. Fans going crazy. Oh, yeah. You get in the ring, and across from you sits KSI. Mm -hmm. And he's doing all of this stuff. He's flexing. The tongue's out. They ring the bell, and the fight starts. How do you get this done? Man, honestly, I'm going to just outbox him. I feel like I'm more technical. He's more of a scrapper. Mm -hmm. like a brawler mm -hmm. he's gonna come in there swinging crazy trying to get the highlight reel knockout um so you think skill for skill yeah you're on a different level here i think i don't think i'm like insanely better than him yeah. but i think i if we were the same weight if he wasn't making me come up and wait if he came down to what i was comfortable at i would easily every time yeah. just skill wise just wow. technical wise like uh ring generalship moving around he just kind of runs around the ring and follows you and just throws as hard as he can and right. hope and throw, yeah. Yeah. So I think I'm just going to outbox him, um, and then he's going to try to get wild, and then I'm going to have to tame him, and then that's it. There it is. Yeah. Well, listen, uh, folks, it's one half of your main event. 
the zone boxing, misfit boxing, the Wade concept. Alex, do you have anything else you want to tell the people before we get out of here today? Uh, buy that pay-per-view. Buy the pay-per-view, get your tickets. It's going to be... Uh, I think right now you guys are 75% sold out, and we're not even... We're Close. not even a month away. Yeah. So if you guys, if there's anything left by the time this comes out, make sure you get those tickets. This man is one half of the main event. He's excited. He's ready to go. Alex, I Thank appreciate you. Thank you, sir. You.